The Walrus is a magazine about Canada and its place in the world. We have a pointy-headed mandate, an educational mandate to create forums for debate on matters vital to Canadians. But really what it is is a place for Canada to talk about itself. The Walrus is above all thoughtful, intelligent, we try to be playful, and we, and we try to be meaningful, we try to be relevant. You know, we say the magazine is a magazine that exists to explain Canada to Canadians. Mm -hmm. And I think all of us who work here believe that that's an important thing to do. So you will never find a restaurant review, you'll never find uh, where, you know, Britney Spears bought her purse. Just about everything else that is important to Canadians' everyday lives is the walrus. I see no reason not to continue to believe that the job of journalism is the same as it was a hundred years ago. What's changed is the technology, and the technology is creating problems with business models. But the job is still the same. It's to tell people what's going on in their communities so that they can make intelligent decisions. But I do believe that you have to be accessible on whatever platforms people want you to be accessible on. So the perfect walrus story is a cover story on the newsstand, is a walrus TV documentary, is the subject of a walrus on stage event, which is then shot for walrus TV. There's a podcast with the principal characters in the story, and then an ebook comes out with something in addition to it. That's the perfect world. We have all those toys now, and now what we're trying to do is make sure that they all work together. One of the most exciting opportunities it provides is that it allows storytelling to go on. So the stories that used to be in a magazine or a newspaper that became these finite things, you know, the this, this story was printed and it stops. Suddenly you have an ability with um, you know, a story going live online, or if you make a you make a video about it, people react to it, and then that sort of you know you know sort of spins off like onto its own tentacles, and so suddenly you have people following a particular kind of interest. Um, and I think for a lot of journalists, it sort of helps generate the next ideas. The best advice I can give is to watch your own habits. So you know, I have interns who say they want to go work for a newspaper, and I'm trying to figure out why because they don't even read them. So I really think, when I go on an airplane, I, I look up and down the aisle and, and go tablet, laptop, laptop, Kindle, Kobo, magazine. But you have to really pay attention to how people are consuming media and where, and where they are, and that's where you need to be.